Hello, dear students of grade 4. You are welcome to unit 10, reading second. Dear students, look at the pictures and answer these questions. So, what can you see in the picture? You can see two people talking on the phone. So, what do you see in the picture? We can see two people talking on the phone, talking over the phone. Second question. Do you have a telephone at your home? I don't have a telephone, but I have a mobile phone. You can write, uh, if you have got a telephone, you can write, yes, I have a telephone. If you don't have, you can see, I don't have a telephone, but I have a mobile phone. Nowadays, everybody has okay mobile phone. What do you use it for? I use a mobile phone for talking to the people who are abroad, playing okay, music, playing games, and... Uh, also watching videos on YouTube and see now these students telephones now let's read out this text do you know that there are more telephones landlines and mobile phones combined in the world than people hey telephone or mobile phone or telephone or some body so hey minus was on camera will my telephone mobile was body so there are more than 6 billion mobile phones in the world. 6 billion mobile phones in the world. It is hard to imagine the world without telephones. Telephone is not world compared to the world. Imagine the world. Telephone is not world. Like, Kalpana is not the world. It is difficult without telephone. Thanks to Alexander Graham Bell who invented it in 1976. Okay. So, we should give thanks to Alexander. Uh, Alexander Gramville, who invented it in 1876 AD. Uh, Gramville, Alexander Gramville, uh, 1876 AD, uh, telephone ko uh, Alexander Gramville was born in Scotland. He was born in Scotland. Uh, he was a young boy. He was very interested in music, poetry, and art. Poetry, music, art, my interested in when he was. 12 he began to invent things tar bar bar sab bhichu le invent garna ko lagi naya naya kura abhishek garna shuru gare at the age of 12 his mother began to lose her hearing and later became completely deaf tar jab alexander gramwell 12 years ka thiye usko mother le haina hearing unko aapna sunne shakti kaan ko sunne shakti gumaudai gain ra became later became completely deaf uni pashi gara kaan na sunne bhairyo this event greatly affected Alexander Gramwell. You think that Alexander Gramwell is Therefore, he became very interested in the history of sound and the human voice. And when he was in the sound of history, he was interested in the sound of the sound of the sound of the human voice. He was interested sound of the human voice. Uh, when he studied in, uh, in 1870 at the age of 23, 23, ko, un, 23 years ago, 1870, ma, he moved to Canada with his parents where they bought a farm. Canada, for you, unko parents, unko unhi, jau, unko unko farm kine. he built a small workshop and continued the experiment to sound there. He built a small workshop and continued the experiment to work sound there. And continued its experiment of sound there. And will have no sound go study go there. Position on a sugar experiment when you go testing or one testing or one in a position or one a sugar in a study continue. In 1871, he moved to Boston and you only America go Boston and Thomas Goyuni 1871 ma, to teach hearing impure students only there. Hearing can and not only man with that will a sigamati or amati. One of his students was Helen Keller. Helen Keller was unable to see. No, Helen Keller, Helen Keller, I have no dekni. Helen Keller, I have no dekni. Totally handicapped. Okay, totally handicapped. Since 1873, 1873, he began to teach less and focused his energy on experiments. 1873 
ये फोटो को प्रयास सब एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विथ साउंड उनके नया नया पर्यावरण लाई टेस्ट करने लाई साउंड संबंधी है ध्वनि संबंधी स्टडी करने लाई टेस्टिंग करने लाई वन मार्च टेन एटीन सेवेन्टी सिक्स वाइल वर्किंग ऑन इज इन्वेन्शन उनके मार्च एटीन सेवेन्टी में सेवेन्टी सिक्स में उनके काम करते थे आपने आविष्कार करते थे मिस्टर बेल इन्वेन्शन करते थे तो इन्वेन्शन करने काम में उन्हें बिजी थे मिस्टर बेल स्पोक द फर्स्ट वर्ड्स एवर ऑन द टेलीफोन उन्हें पहले पटक टेलीफोन में कई शब्द आ रहे बोले तो शब्द थे मिस्टर वार्सन कम हियर आई वांट सी यू जो चाहिए उनको पहले चाहिए टेलीफोन में टेलीफोन पर एक आरा बोले को उनको शब्द आ रहे थे मिस्टर वार्सन कम हियर आई वांट सी यू नाउ यू दिस वर्ड्स फ्रेजेस टू क्रिएट मीनिंगफुल सेंटेंसेस ऑफ योर वन सो यू हैव टू मेक सेंटेंसेस बाय यूजिंग दिस वर्ड्स मोबाइल फोन्स यू कैन मेक योर ओन सेंटेंसेस दी स्टूडेंट्स तो पहले आपने सेंटेंस मनोज सब मनोज मोबाइल फोन्स आर वेरी यूजफुल डिवाइसेस फॉर ऑल नहीं और उपन्यास मनोज सब मनोज मोबाइल फोन्स आर यूजफुल डिवाइसेस फॉर ऑल इन द मॉडर्न टाइम्स सेकंड वन बिलियन ओके ही ऑन बिलियन रुपीज फ्रॉम बिजनेस ही ऑन बिलियन रुपीज फ्रॉम बिजनेस नेक्स्ट वन इन्वेंटेड ग्रामबेल इन्वेंटेड टेलीफोन्स राइट डाउन इन दिस वे सही लोग सब ग्रामबेल इन्वेंटेड टेलीफोन्स नेक्स्ट वन हेयरिंग इम्पीयर हेयरिंग इम्पीयर स्टूडेंट्स कैन रीड एंड राइट कैन न सुनने मानसिक लेपनी पन्ना लेने सॉक्सन मनी की ना वर्कशॉप गे यू कैन सी माय ब्रदर रन्स बाइक वर्कशॉप माय ब्रदर रन्स साइकल वर्कशॉप एक्सपेरिमेंट्स साइंटिस्ट मेक अलग अलग एक्सपेरिमेंट्स साइंटिस्ट मेक अलग अलग एक्सपेरिमेंट्स एंड यू वर्कशॉप पो माय ब्रदर रन्स मोटर बाइक वर्कशॉप ऐसे टा नाउ कंप्लीट द टेबल विद द कोरिक इनफॉरमेशन फ्रॉम द टेक्स्ट मूव टू कनाडा सो हियर हियर 1870 इन 1870 ग्रा� Moved to Boston, 1871, he moved to Boston. In 1871, he moved to Boston. Focused more on experiment, 1873. In 1873, he focused more on experiment. And last one, 1876, he spoke. Graham spoke the first word on the telephone, in 1876. Now, dear students, let's see the answer to these questions. Where was Alexander Graham Bell born? Uh, Alexander Grammel was born in Scotland. Very easy uh, question. Answer is very easy. He was born in Scotland. Now we. What were his childhood interest and hobbies? Childhood makostukura interest actually. Hobbies kiti. His childhood interest and hobbies were music, art, and poetry. Very easy. Okay. His childhood interest and hobbies were music, art, and poetry. Now see. Why did he build a small workshop? Why did he? Why did Alexander Graham well be okay? Um, build a small workshop. He built a small workshop to continue his experiment of sound and human voice. He built a small workshop to continue his experiments on sound and human voice. Next D. Why did he go to Boston? Why did Graham well no, go to Boston? Graham well went to Boston to teach hearing impaired students. He went to Boston, U.S.C. to teach the hearing impaired students. The students who couldn't hear properly. So no, 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 no. Last question. What were these first words on the telephone? His first word on the telephone were, Mr. Watson, come here, I want to see you. These are his first words. Now, pronounce these words, notice the sounds, the letters in the mark. There, there. This is called pronounced there. Parents, yeah, parents. So, oh, is pronounced fa, eh, yeah, yeah. It's like in cat, eh? Parents, where? This, you know, where? You know, where, where? Where? Okay, kia, kia. This is pronounced yeah, okay, kia. Yeah, diphthong. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Cheer, fear, rear, where? So here, there, here, you know, pronounce it different. A, A, okay. A, there, share, okay, in this way. Now, okay, this one is a very easy one. You can do yourself. Now, I will focus on very, you know, difficult one. So, study the following examples here, examples here. So, rewrite these sentences using commas. Comma. So in some there are some okay, mistakes in comma. So we should make so February here write comma February 
Martin April are very favorite month, so here is comma. Delete here also comma. Delete Ramu. Delete. Delete Ramu. Nomine and Ram Lakhan are my best friends, so you should you know, use comma here. In the winter, you should also write a comma here. In the winter, we need a warm clothes. Warm clothes. Warm clothes. Now my favorite colors are pink. Pink, blue, and green. Now September year 20, okay, 2025. So here is right comma. September number 20, 2015 was important in the history of Nepal. Ranjit here, my brother. Ranjit, my brother, is a teacher. Ranjit, my brother, is a teacher. Here is right comma, okay. So, excuse me, here comma. Yes, you are right. Here also comma. Write down your comma. Okay. Yes, yeah, after the yes, you are right. And hi, how are you? You also comma. Hi, how are you? And without water, life is impossible. You also comma. Okay, these friends. Read the following paragraph about the birthday celebration. Read yourself. It is just an example for focusing one. See the use of past tense. Okay, you, see, you can see the use of past tense simple past tense okay dear students this is all about uh, exercise 10 uh, unit 10 and exercise second and other things these students i will come up with solution to the exercise 11 in my next video thank you for watching bye